So I always like to use this example, how through the Hebrew alphabet we can learn what it means to, to give and what it means to take. The, the Gibar uh, tells us that the letter Gimel comes from the word Gimul, which means Gimulut Chasadim, to provide kindness for others. Gimel is a letter that shows us how to give, because if you take a look at it, it's stretching out its arm, it has its two legs stationed firmly to the ground, and he's giving. Do I look like I'm giving? I look like a little Gimel right now? I'm giving. So that's the Gimel. Now, the next letter after the Gimel is the Dalet. Now, to be a giver, you need a receiver. So who's the letter that comes after the Gimel? The Dalet. The Dalet is standing erect. He has his head stretched out because that's what the Dalet is. The Gibbara says the word Dalet comes from the word Dal. Dal means poor. And that's what he's doing. He's stretching out his arm. But pay attention which direction the, the Dalet is facing. He has his back towards the Gimel, which you would think the Dalet should be running after the Gimel, asking him, begging him, and pleading with him to give him Parnassah. But the in this case, it's the gimbal that's running after the dollar. And from here we learn that, learn from the gimbal how to give. Give out of sensitivity. Make it look almost as if that the person that you are giving to is doing you the favor. And here the gimbal is like, please take from it. He's running after the dollar while the dollar has his back facing towards the gimbal. It shows you how the gimbal is doing this mitzvah according to the way it's meant to be done. He's doing it in a way that's going to make sure, ensure to preserve this person's dignity. And the Dalit, however, is stretching out his arm. But who is he stretching out his arm to? The Dalit is stretching out his arm to the next letter. What's the letter after the Dalit? The letter Hey. Guess what Hey stands for? Hey stands for Hashem. Because although the Dalit understands that he is receiving, and it is the Gimel that is providing for him, at the end of the day, he truly knows where his sustenance is coming from. And that is from Hashem. And that is the attitude that we must have as well. We have to learn from the Gimel how to give, but we have to also, I must learn from the Dalit, what it means to take. Realize that at the end of the day, nobody could come through for you. There's no one else to put your reliance on, but on Hashem. So the Dalit stretches his arm out to Hashem. That's a beautiful lesson from the Hebrew alphabet. I don't know if you could do that with the ABCs. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> Go try it out. I, I tried it out at home. But why is the A next to the B? Uh, it didn't work out for me. And why is the B next to the C? There's no explanation to it. But our Torah, our Torah is written by God. The letters are made from Hashem. And obviously there must be depth behind every single letter.